pretty stoked to to camp here been looking forward to this for months and it is here let's go <laughs> see what kind of big deer I can get on while I'm up here so all right well tomorrow morning we're gonna I'm gonna canoe in a little after day daylight that way I can make sure I know my route downstream without capsizing and then also just tomorrow's about kind of finding a place to set up and getting set up so if I can be set up for a Tuesday morning hunt then I'm awesome by the way guys I think I just see a rub up there next to camp so that's perfect <laughs> all right let's do this all right it is day one here in Iowa getting out it's gonna be a little warmer today so I'm gonna use today as a chance to find sign find some fresh sign and then also I'm still learning this river so I'm kind of taking it easy when it comes to checking this out I want to see exactly where my danger spots are before I do this in the dark so I'm gonna take, take it easy here and then um, I'm pretty pumped though about what I'm gonna find today so I know where I'm gonna start at least and then we'll go from there so it's gonna be a fun day I'm pretty stoked first day ever hunting Iowa I'd like to get set up for an evening hunt so let's do this today So I've been at it about an hour and a half now and all I've found are just some beat trails. Lots of tracks. It's pretty evident there's a lot of deer here. But the cool thing about this time of year, this time of October, is that because the sign is not very widespread, when you find it, you're on them. So, Guess what I just found? <laughs> a massive scrape. So I'm going to show you guys I haven't walked up on it yet. But because I was not finding sign back where I was starting, I figured that this point that I'm getting to here may be where I ended up finding them anyways. When we did our scouting last year, we found so many oaks along this um, east side of the ridge. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to show you guys here what I'm looking at. Right there. There we go. Right there. Right, make sure I'm still in focus here and zoom out. Wrong direction. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's go take a look at this. I'm standing what I think is under a, a white oak, but I'm not finding any acorns. So, let's go look at this scrape real quick. That's exactly what I'm looking for. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Sweet. Well, I'm going to mark that on my onyx. Stay quiet, get off here, and move down around this point just a little bit more. See if I can put a couple more of these scrapes together because they're gonna, there's going to be more of them right here. I just got to find them. And then I'm going to find me a setup, go back to my canoe, come, come down here. I'm further downstream 
get set up to hunt. That's exciting, man. Here we go. All right, y'all, so I just bumped a really big deer. I wasn't really close to him, so I'm not too concerned about how hard I bumped him. He'll, he'll still be around, so. Um, I bumped him down on this, on the bottom. I'm up on a bench right now. And he was down right on the edge of um, of where you start coming up into the the ridge. Last year when we did bit, when we did scouting, there's a bunch of scrapes down there on the edge. So I'm about to I'm gonna bypass where he was bedding. I'm gonna stay up here so he doesn't see me. I don't accidentally bump him harder than I need to. So. I'm gonna go to this back to this corner and see if I find any more scrapes. Because he's not a hundred yards from that corner, from that point, so I'm gonna go back here, see if I can find some more scraping and not bump him any harder than I need to. So look like a really nice deer. That's exciting, that's pump that's gets me pumped. So he'll be back. Especially the bet better weather really doesn't start till Wednesday. It's Monday right now, so I've got time. I just don't need to fuck it up myself. Screw it up myself. My bad. <laughs> so, all right. Well, let's stay quiet. Let's keep moseying through here and see if I can't find a spot down here in the point to set up on. And I'll get set up on tonight and, and we'll be good to go. All right guys. Well, I'm set up for the evening. This may end up being my spot for the week. I mean, I'm surrounded by scrapes. Real fresh ones. And I'm within 100 yards from where I jumped that big boy earlier today. So, perfect timing. I got about three and a half hours left of daylight today on the warmest day of the whole hunt. So I'll be ready for a good hunt tomorrow morning. I'm actually curious to see what else I see this evening. But this spot is killer. I'm pumped. Right, so it's day two <clears throat> my hunt here in Iowa. It's been a real slow day today. <clears throat> Not great weather. It was supposed to be warm and windy, which was to be expected. So I found this spot yesterday a lot sooner than what I was thinking it might. I wanted to give myself plenty of time to find some hot sign. So since I found it so early now, it's just a waiting game. I saw a small buck this morning. Other than that, been nothing. Well, hit a doe with my canoe on my way in this morning. <laughs> I was like, get out of the way! <laughs> I'm coming through. And she's like, oh no. So, all right, well, just got done eating lunch. Gotta sit tight. Wind's supposed to die off for the evening, so fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. Uh, tomorrow we got rain moving in. So hopefully that rain maybe will kick these bucks up a little bit 
And then we've got a huge cold front coming in for Thursday. So I am in position. Now it's just waiting on him to get on his feet. Let's see what happens.
in state four here in Iowa. The cold front rolled in. It's gonna be 18 degrees colder today than it was yesterday. Saw a spike so far this morning. Heard a lot of deer crossing the river. It's super still right now, so I'm not gonna talk long. could happen fast. So let's sit tight and see what the day brings. me I'm going to stay quiet for a second. He's right there, so I'm just going to stay quiet and then I'll turn this back on here in a second. <sighs> Holy cow, guys. What a beautiful eight point. My gosh. I wanted to be quiet for a while and let him expire. 
since he was right there, so. <sighs> Holy cow. Day five in Iowa. Exactly seven days since my Missouri nine point. <laughs> Oh man, he's, oh, you gotta love a big eight point. I sure hope you guys can see quite a bit. I'm gonna try on the editing side to zoom in a little bit, but he was kind of behind some trees and all, so you guys didn't get quite as good of a view of him as I did, but we're gonna recover him here in a sec, and then you guys get a much better view of him then heavy wide eight point real nice animal mature animal there's a pumping man that's really the only morning traffic I've had through here all week um, it's been pretty slow in the week in the mornings for the most part throughout the week but what a perfect morning. I mean, still cold, first frost. I don't know if it's a first frost, but it's one of the first frosts. And it was dense fog getting in here this morning. He came in working scrapes. <laughs> oh, man. I'm pumped. Okay, well, turn this off. I'm going to start packing up my stand and stuff, getting out of the tree. And then we'll go recover him. So, yeah, I'm pumped, guys. Ha! All right, guys. Well, I went ahead and pulled my tree stand. Made a trip to the canoe. The canoe's right over there. It's not far at all. So, I haven't even went over and held him yet. I'm pumped. Let's put out a put a, st a stealth cam up, and I changed the battery for my this camera right here. So we have plenty plenty of battery to go do. What we're about to go do right now. So hang on a second. I'm gonna throw my backpack on. Grab my bow. So that doesn't fall over. I grab my quartering bags and everything so we can take care of him because he is going out in pieces. He is not going out whole, that is for sure. So alright, move you guys back down here. Okay. Let's go get him. <laughs> this is crazy. What an awesome hunt, man. He's been he's been done for a little while now, so holy cow. Alright. Wow. Wow. Stop looking at me. Let's look at the deer. Holy cow. <laughs> Get this backpack off of me. Oh my goodness. Ooh. That's a big one right there, y'all. Big, mature eight point. Holy cow. Move some of these branches out of the way. Wow. Put that right there. Beautiful, beautiful buck, huh? Holy cow, you guys are kind of out of frame, aren't you? My goodness.
My goodness. Dude. Wow. I can't even say enough about this. So it's been five day hunt here in Iowa. Came out here for six days, so I had one day left. And this dude came by today. This is perfect. Canoe access, off the grid hunt. I mean, I am worn plumb out, guys. Worn plumb out. It's a mile to camp downstream. Then there's another mile. Little, it's over a mile, mile and a quarter to this spot to hunt. And I am just ecstatic. I mean, this is just, it worked out so perfectly. I mean, he's already get stiffening up here a little bit. I mean, just an awesome, awesome Iowa buck, huh? Man, I could not be happier with that. That's just, just an awesome deer. Oh, well, that is two tags filled in seven days. <laughs> Shot that nine point in Missouri last Friday. This big heavy dude in Iowa this Friday. That's two October bucks in a, in a period of seven days. Man, just so excited. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get him taken care of. Let me get him quartered up and in the canoe. And then I can start packing him out. So I gotta take him out and then um, him in some hunting gear and then I'll come back and pack camp up and take camp out. So, um, <laughs> whew, man. Let's get to work. <laughs> oh, I'm so pumped, guys. Yeah! Alright, just made it back to camp. I'm officially halfway to the truck. So I grabbed my keys, grabbed my GoPro here. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a taste of what I've been dealing with on the upstream portion of my day. And mind you, I've been doing all of this in the dark. So this is the first day I've been going upstream with any kind of daylight so far so this week <laughs> all right well let's get you attached to the canoe and let's start our trek we've got one more mile left here and then we can come back here i'm gonna pack up camp and take it out and then we are done with this trip it's been a good week all right let's get you attached. <laughs> A lot of extra, we got a lot of extra weight in here. Holy cow! But I will tell you that even though this looks like a real pain in the neck, this is actually a whole lot easier than dragging him two miles. That's for sure. Okay, well, I'll get off the shelf and stuff. in to say hi. He hadn't liked it so far all week. He keeps 
slapping their tails at me in the, in the morning. I'm like, oh man, I'm trying to be quiet. All right. Now, get this paddle. Let's get you guys. I'm just going to drift across the river to that other spot and then pull it past that other little rapid like I've been doing. <laughs> so much easier if it was deeper. you're wondering yeah it's worth it <laughs> it's very worth it
All right, well that's a wrap. My first trip to Iowa and I absolutely loved it. That was fun. It's a lot of work and I am worn out. But you know what? It's all worth it. I really enjoyed that. The, the canoe in camp, then you canoe from camp to where I was hunting. It just made for the whole experience. Had to steer around freaking raccoons in the morning. I almost hit raccoons two mornings in a row. They're crazy. Be beavers splashing their tails. They're not too happy with what I was doing on, on the river. Deer just a lot along the river. They're crossing. I'm sitting on stand before daylight and I hear the deer crossing the, the river. I mean, that was just, that was awesome. The, the views were fun. That yeah, was just an awesome trip. Saw that real big, wide, what looked to be a 13 point, um, day two of the trip. And I was hoping he would turn back up, but he never ended up coming back. Been fair, it was fairly slow for most of the week. Um, didn't have real great weather. But I knew this weather was coming here at the end of the trip. And I figured something would be showing up. So I, I stuck it out. I was, ha I was on some seriously good fresh sign surrounded by big scrapes and I saw that big buck two days in a row I knew it was just a matter of time before something else or him showed back up so um, I stuck it out ended up paying off with this awesome wide eight point I mean he's a real pretty mature buck so that is two bucks in two different states separated by seven days both came out by canoe <laughs> I'm on cloud nine y'all I mean this is there's a lot of fun I absolutely love doing this so thanks for watching um we still have I still have three tags in my pocket so I've got a South Dakota tag still have that Kentucky tag because I didn't fill it and I got one more Missouri tag I can't use that Missouri tag again till opening weekend of rifle so what November 13th so I got a couple weeks here um probably going to end up now that I filled this tag actually probably going to end up going to South Dakota the second week of November that's always been a real good week for us up there so stay tuned we got a lot more happening this this year so I'm we're pretty stoked this is a heck of a October I mean this is awesome so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video